power up. Power! You won't escape! Strike with me! Bring the dog off!
over here. with this.
must be careful now. Over here, good warrior. Hi, stranger. Excuse me, I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a, a battle scar. Ah, as I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. You should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes? If he's headless? My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Good Drenga. You have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out, but you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah. Valhalla it is. I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the corpse hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you. Send you down the bee thrust. It is time. You know, there's a great... All your enemies have been slain. Now, you rejoice. Converts like myself. I am the great and the holy path I am I seek those who wish to join the great and superior holy path I am on.
Should be seen here. A hood should work.
remain steadfast. Come here! Come here a moment.
Hey now, I... how curious.
Church. <laughs> Show me what lies ahead. Someone there? This throne of Mark and Manure? I suppose that makes you the Lord of Shitsby. How dare you insult the brave and valorous soldiers of... Of Shitsby, yes. I know your time. Insolent spirit! Kill this usurper!
Traveler, what seek you? Perhaps I can help. Where is the matter of my fee? Yes, all right. Right. Let me show you something on your map. I have nothing more to share for now. not to draw attention here.
men like Doug litter every clan, city, and century. The prideful ones. Men who never know when just enough is still too much. Have you got a contract for me? Finally! Someone reliable to get some serious work done. I must take my leave. So long. Go with your gods. Avon, have you seen Wallace? Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. Conquers it. It is quick, clever, accessible to all. It is the art of the masses. What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. Uh -um. You see... Flighting is simple, so hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? Alvis is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Hey there. I have to go. See you. Die, Dulce Fruimini!
You can retrace his steps. It's luck he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. I need your eyes. <laughs> oh no! Eivor! Over here! Set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at his eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost... pleasant. Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Hmm. Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Oh my god, Eivor! Eivor, come this way! What have you found? I saw it, Eivor! I saw him nearby! Wallace? The White Elk! The White Elk that brought me to Wallace years ago! It was there! I saw it there! Are you certain? As sure as I see you now! He's back! Our Guardian is back, leading us to my brother! Petra, where are you? I'm here. Come. Petra, hello, Mimi. Mimi, guide me. Have I lost her too? She is gone. I am... I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the White Elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. Do you live a comforting life? Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? 
Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? Uh, I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. What? What is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Jotna! Here in Midgard! Return to Jotunheimer! Go now, or die here! What have you done with Petra? Let's slow this in! What have you done to Petra? Answer me! Abel, stop! I'm here! I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Evil, I am right here. There's no need to question this carrion further. Uh, uh, no, you Yes. Dead. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there. His trail leads this way. Petra, I, I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited. For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Oh, look there! This is strange, Seda Vitra. Where are you? <laughs> Over here! Eivor, come on! I'm up here! Petra! How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? Come to me. I'll show you. How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move! Run in a straight line! Amazing. You did it, just like your Sunin. And not a scratch on you. Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I, I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no! The wolf spirits have wakened! Good day, Squirk. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wolves? Damn! This one doesn't seem rabbit! Petra! I see him. I do. Come on, Eivor, chase the elk! No! 
no, don't go. Wait, we we're, we're home. Full circle with nothing to show for it. Uh, so what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat, we've been looking for you. And here I am, freshly rested and ready to work. You're days late. I was carrying quite a burden coming home. Slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be buzzing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rapids for permission. <laughs>